Hey, Jill, what's going on? Lots on my mind. I was just texting my brother. You and your brother are close, aren't you? Yeah, he's just a year younger. We're really close. Nice. So what's up? I wanted to tell you guys that I'm going to leave and go back home. Oh, Jill, that's terrible news. It's not terrible. Really, it's okay. I'll come back in the spring when I'm feeling stronger. I'm already feeling better now that I've made this decision. Is this because of what happened with Scott? It's because of a lot of things. I want to tell you guys something because you've been so great to me since I told you about what happened with Scott at that party. I've never told anyone this before. I was raped almost a year ago by a guy in my high school. I was drunk. We were all drunk, but I know he heard me say, stop, don't do this. He wasn't a good friend, but we'd known each other since middle school. I couldn't believe he would do that. It was at a party. We were all having fun. Why didn't you tell us before? Jessica, she's telling us now when she can. I'm so sorry, Jill. Right, right. I'm glad you're telling us. Thanks. I thought I could just forget about it and move on. It was my senior year. I wanted to do all the things you do your last year. So I partied even though I didn't feel like it. I didn't want my life to be taken away by him and what he did. I drank a lot, went out with a lot of guys. It was a way to feel like I could make my own choices, like I was back in control. I guess. I feel like I was judged for how I acted. I thought coming away to college would make it all go away. But then it almost happened again with Scott. Yeah. Will you tell your family when you go home? I want to go home and tell my brother. He'll help me figure out what to tell my parents. He'll go with me to talk to somebody. Maybe my high school counselor. I liked her. You know, the two of you have treated me with respect. Like you really believe me. It's helped me feel like I'm still in here somewhere. I was surprised you didn't freak out, especially you, Miguel. I thought a guy wouldn't believe me or would just run away. I learned a lot a couple of years ago when my best friend told me he was sexually abused as a kid. I freaked out. I'm not sure I believed him. I mean, he's a rich, white kid, and the guy who did it is well-known, a friend of his family. I couldn't look at my friend anymore. All I could think about was what he said happened to him. It was awful. I was miserable. What did you do? Fortunately, I have parents I can talk to, and they helped. They found somebody who worked with this stuff for me to talk to. I wish all of us were taught what to do when a friend tells us they were sexually assaulted. But your friend was a child when it happened. That seems pretty different from what happened to Jill. Whether we're kids or adults, we're all vulnerable at some point. And if someone chooses to hurt us in a moment like that, there's not much any of us can do. You're right. It's sad that there are people who use sex as a way to feel powerful. It's pathetic and wrong. A lot of people don't believe kids, and a lot of people don't believe women who have been drinking. People don't want to believe it because it's hard to understand and painful. For a lot of people, it's easier to say the person is confused or it was just a miscommunication. I know that I didn't want to believe it when my friend told me. Believing it meant the world was not the place I thought it was. It turned everything I knew upside down. So how did it work out between you and your friend? Good. Finally, I began to see him as my friend again, and not as some bad event. That's why you didn't treat me like some bad event when I told you about Scott. You're still the same person, Jill. I know you don't feel like yourself right now, but you will again. I hope your time at home is good, and I hope you come back in the spring. Me too, Jill. It's hard to tell someone about being assaulted or molested. So if a friend tells you, be honored that they trust you, even if you don't know what to say. You can start by saying, I'm sorry this happened, and this is not your fault. It will affect you too. You may need to talk to someone about how you feel, but be careful who you pick. It's not your story, so don't tell people who know your friend. Find someone who knows these issues and is truly confidential. All I had ever heard about rape made me think that it was all my fault. I'm finally beginning to understand that it wasn't, and it helps to hear that from others. We talk about sex and rape like they're connected. They're not. What happened to me was not sex. It was a guy getting off on doing what he wanted to me. He's the only one who should be ashamed, not me.